Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And as promised, I said I'd make a second video saying that the numbers aren't um, in the center. And as you can see, they're kind of grouped together. So let's let's take the whole thing. Let me back up here because the tin's off. Let me group, ungroup everything. And by un and I, I know I'm gonna find a way or I'm gonna write the the gentleman from Mac Monster Macros and get him to explain to me, but it, you could very easily uh, E, C, E, C, you know, C, E, doesn't matter what. Then you just don't want to get too many. And just put, you know, don't grab the letter on any other, other ones. And then you could put all these in the center, as you can see. So I'd put it in the center. The other part, and the reason I went ahead and make the video in case you have E cuts and you're trying to figure it out, these have individual squares, so they're going to cut out each one. Well, I showed a video the other night. So let's just grab all this and go right here inside of E-Cuts, remove duplicate edges. And I'm going to set this thing on zero, zero, zero. Now, for some reason, it puts it over there. And some reason, I've, I've lost my one. But now, if you look at them, and this is uh, very easily, you know, just move that back to your page. But what this has done is kind of like tag cuts. It's going to only let it cut out one line. So the, like the one in the middle, you know, it starts with that box, but all the other ones are just two lines. So it's only going to cut out each line one time. So it's going to save you uh, wood or acrylic or whatever you're cutting it out of because you're not having to space these things apart you know, and put them like spaced out so they won't double burn or anything. You can do this and it's going to cut it exactly down the line. Anyway, so when I figure out how to get them centered on E-cuts, I'm going to make another video. Hope that helped. Thank you for